As you no doubt already know, fetching data over a network is not just time-consuming and costly, it also bears a huge impact on user experience. The more data, the slower and more expensive it is. Even for a little blog you've got going, if your audience base starts to grow, then good for you. Traffic is awesome, people are coming every day, but the more traffic you have, the more time and money it costs to transfer all that data. And even if you post new content every day, for repeat visitors, they're downloading that older content over and over again, even though they're not rereading it over and over again. It gets even worse for larger websites, especially those with a lot of large media files, like high-res photos, for instance. An increase in traffic may be just what you want, but the more you get, the higher your data transfer costs. And again, if your users come to your site over and over again just to look at your new content, it's a huge waste to keep downloading all that old content over and over again. It's not just costly for you, but it also dips into your user's wallet as well. If they're on a limited data plan, for instance, then it sucks for them when they visit your website and drain their bandwidth when they don't have to. Not to mention related factors beyond just this pure data volume issue, like all the different round trips between the user's browser and your server, which can experience delays, holdups, and other issues. Maybe they're rare, maybe they're frequent. In any case, even if we're talking microseconds here and there, this can all add up to slower page load times and a downgrade in user experience. So this video tackles that subject directly. Specifically, we're going to look at using a simple trick to ensure that repeat visitors are at least caching your images. So, in order to reduce HTTP requests and have your website load as fast as possible for these return visitors, it's often a great idea to set expiration headers for some of your content, in this case, your images. This way, that content will be cached by the user's browser and saved until that expiration date, instead of requesting it over and over again. So obviously, less HTTP requests and less data transfer equals not only less bandwidth and cost, but also faster load time which equals better functionality, which usually equals lower bounce rates, more time spent on your site, and all that good stuff that boosts your SEO rankings. Of course, there are cases when you wouldn't want to do this. For instance, if I've got an online shop that is selling new versions of items all the time, then I'm not going to want users to cache and use old images when the image content is constantly updated. Or if I've got a site in general that contains a lot of content that I'm updating often. But let's assume that I've got a site that doesn't change all that often, and I'd like to leverage this technique for better user experience. All I need to do is edit my htaccess file. And add this mod. In my case, I've got JPEG files, some GIFs, or GIFs, let's not have that debate right now, and some PNGs. And save. Now visitors to my site will automatically store those images in their browser's cache and keep them on their site locally. Every time they visit my site now, until that expiration date, they'll load up those cached images from their side instead of pulling them from my server. Unless, of course, they do a hard refresh of the web page or clean their browser's cache manually. But otherwise, any time they visit my site again, it will load faster since they already have those images. This might be small potatoes if you've got a light website with little to no traffic. But even in that case, repeat visits to your site will load in less time and cost you and your visitor less bandwidth. Now on the other hand, if you've got a larger website with a lot of traffic, then we're talking significant bandwidth savings and a significant step up in user experience. So don't neglect to employ this little trick. Feel free to check out our other videos so that you can keep fine-tuning and getting the most out of your SEO. And click subscribe to stay updated with new tips and tricks to get you to the top of the search engine results pages.